Hello and welcome back to another tutorial of light rising. So, as you know, the kind of things that I'm doing from the first part is all new to me and what I'll be doing in this part is new to me too. So when you click on bestiary, bestiary, you get this, bestiary. Gotta catch them all. The best area is where your clan keeps their chronicles of all the creatures they have encountered and collected in Flight Rising. Your best area can be viewed by anyone who visits your clan profile. Familiars. All available familiars in Flight Rising will be catalogued alphabetically here. If you own a familiar, have it in your horde or company in dragon, its full color artwork will be displayed. Try to collect them all. Enemies. The enemies index will show you all of the uh, denizens you have encountered in the Colosseum. Co uh, okay. Once encountered, an enemy's image stats and possible loot will be uh, will display. Keep fighting to uncover more and more baddies. So I guess that's a. Uh, <laughs> that's that's also a thing. So I'm just clicking here and there to see. Uh, what what kind of things Flight Rising has to offer and there are quite some interesting things here so let's see Horde well the Horde managing your inventory the Horde is where all of the items you acquire in Flight Rising are stored each item has a category and will sort itself accordingly into the proper tab. There are currently seven tabs for items. Food, materials, apparel, familiars, battle items, skins and other. Food. The food tab will house all of the food items you collect. Your clan can accumulate food items by using the gathering system or purchasing them on the auction house. It is from this tab where you will convert your food items into food stores so that they may be fed to your dragons. Materials. Anything that may assist your clan in crafting will be stored in the materials tab. This includes things like ores, minerals, skins and organic plant life that cannot be eaten. Apparel. This tab is where all of your unequipped apparel will be kept. If a dragon is not currently wearing a piece of apparel, it will display here. However, once a piece of apparel is equipped, it will disappear from the horde until unequipped. Familiars. Your collection of familiars will be housed in this tab. Familiars are items that can be assigned to your dragons and just like your apparel, will disappear while in use. Familiars can also be viewed in your clan's bestiary. Or bestiary. I don't know. Battle items. Items that will assist your dragons in the Colosseum are stored in the battles item tab. Battle items tab. This includes things like battle stones, potions and other utilities. Skins. This tab will be where all of your clan's custom skins and accents will be placed. Skins are special pieces of apparel that, once equipped, will change the color and designs on your dragon. They can be purchased on the auction house, marketplace or even designed by you. Visit the custom skin page for more information. Other. Anything that does not fall into any of the previous categories will be kept in the other tab. This includes various speciali speciality items like breed change scrolls, valuable trinkets, treasure chests and dragon eggs. Okay. Gather items. Gathering. Keeping the clan satisfied. Gathering is the primary source of food in Flight Rising. To satisfy the dietary needs of your clan, you may select to hunt fish, cats in catch insects or forage. From your horde, gather food items can then be added to your stores and fed to your dragons to ensure that they are healthy and full of energy. Some extremely rare familiars can even be found while gathering food. Unearthing trinkets and other surprises. Not only can you obtain food, but you can send your dragons to dig or scavenge items from all regions of Flight Rising World. 
Digging may yield precious minerals or buried treasure chests, while scavenging might unearth artifacts, trinkets, and dragon-made materials. It's even possible to find ready-to-hatch eggs. Alright. Well, I guess I should check my dragon lair and double check the information and see what food it likes. Uh, uh, that's what I thought. Um, what, what, what is, it? oh dear. Um, what do you like to eat? Except, no, no. I will, okay, where can I see the, do I go to the dragon lair then? Plants. Diet is plants, and I'm guessing plants too. Okay, good. Okay. Also, I'm just gonna check skins. You can make your custom skin. So how do you do that? Ah, uh, I'll figure that out for another tutorial. Um, let's see. So then we go to the um, gathering items. Let's see. We're gonna have to gather plants, correct? So then that would be foraging for the plants. Forage. Foraging dragons use their claws, not for combat, but for cultivation. The following plant life has now been stored in your horde. One cinder shroom and three cliff lion. Okay, go back. And then we also have digging and scavenging. I actually want to see scavenge. Sparrow skull. Your most adventurous dragons have returned home after a hard day of scavenging. Your horde now contains the following remnants. Sparrow skull. It smells as if it was soaked in rum. Okay. I'll forage again now. Foraging dragons use their claws not for combat. Got three clovers. Let's see. So now that I've foraged, what do I do now? I... Um, they added to your stores and so how do I mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I should feed them now but I want to figure out where I can Got our items? No, that's exactly where I was just now. Ah, okay, clan. Manage the daily activities of your clan and dragons. Nests, dragons, gather items, profile, hoard, and messages. Let's see, I think it said in the storage area, correct? Okay, so I got this. So what if I do this? Selecting food items, click this button to convert them to food points. You are about to convert the selected items to food points. This auction will be irreversible. Hang on, let me do it with something that I have lots of. So let's do one of this. Convert. Convert. Have been placed in your food stores. Okay. Okay, so I got two for that. Alright. So what happens if... I would do I feed you like this no mm. or does that happen automatically or c I guess I can't feed you because I have no I have no clue. Oh, feed. No. Okay, I thought I had to select. So, feed. No dragons have been fed. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So maybe if this goes down, 
enough, I can press the feed button and then it will be filled up, I think. I don't know. But that's for another tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this one as well. And I will hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.